Hello and welcome to the Comlex podcast. Let's do an instant review of seizures. There's five main types for the boards. Simple, partial, um, this is local and focal. Maybe motor, the Jacksonian march is an example. Sensory, with hallucinations or psychic, with cognitive or affective symptoms. The key point here is that consciousness is not impaired in simple partial seizures. In co complex partial seizures, consciousness is impaired. Patients perform purposeless movements and may become aggressive if restraint is attempted. The first line is carbamazepine. Phenytoin and valproate are also effective. For absent seizures, also called petite mal seizures, never begin uh, usually after the age of 20. They're brief 10 to 30 seconds in duration. Uh, generalized seizures in which the main manifestation is loss of consciousness, often with the eye or muscle fluttering. So it's a classic description of a child in a classroom who stares off into space in the middle of the sentence and then 20 seconds later resumes the sentence. And there's no post-ictal state here. And the first line agent is etoxisusamide. Tonic-clonic seizures, also called grand mal seizures, are classic seizures that have an aura. Tonic muscle contraction is followed by clonic contractions. And patients often have incontinence and a post-ictal state. There's drowsiness, confusion, headache, muscle soreness, and you treat it with phenytoin, carbamazepine, or valproate. Febrile seizures are between the ages of 6 months and 5 years of age and patients can have a seizure due to a fever. The seizure is usually short in duration and of the tonic and clonic generalized type. Often there's no specific seizure treatment which is required and you want to treat the underlying fever and the cause of that. Occasionally giving the patient an acetaminophen is helpful and such children do not have epilepsy um, and the chances of their getting it are just barely higher than the general population. So with seizures, keep in mind that there's secondary seizure disorders caused by tumors or hemorrhage, hypoglycemia or hyponatremia, lead, cocaine, carbon monoxide poisoning, alcohol, barbiturates, benzodiazepine. Um, there is, you know, secondary causes include severe malignant hypertension, pheochromocytoma, eclampsia, trauma, stroke, all those are causes you want to keep in mind for the board exam. What is cystocercosis? This is an infection of the larval form of tenesolium and it's seen in patients with AIDS and immigrants and on CT scan the lesion is classically described as ring enhancing. You treat this with niclosamide and praziquantel, so those are the two drugs. Ring enhancing lesion, AIDS and immigrant with a larval form of tenesolium with a recent uh, history of eating pork is also commonly seen. And status epilepticus is a condition where seizures of any type follow one after the other with no intervening periods of consciousness. And they may occur spontaneously or result from too rapid withdrawal of an anticonvulsant. You treat it with IV benzodiazepine um, and lorazepam or phenytoin. And you want to remember first to protect the airway and intubate if necessary. So that's a key point. First ABCs, then you start the treatment. And for all seizures, just secure the airway first, roll the patient onto his or her side to prevent any kind of an aspiration. And hypertension may cause seizures or convulsions, headache, confusion. So you want to look at that too. And all anticonvulsants are teratogenic and women need counseling about the risk of pregnancy. So you want to do a pregnancy test before starting any uh, woman on an anticonvulsant. That was a quick board review of the common seizures that you're likely to see on the Comlex and USMLE board exam. Please visit comlexflashcards.com for additional board review lectures and good luck in your preparation.